be, because and, and another thing that people that didn't know until I wrote the book is that when they were shooting it, uh, Doug Hayes realized that they were going to run short, and uh, and Rod Serling was out of town; he wasn't available. Uh, this is long before the internet, of course. And so Doug, who himself was a writer, wrote an extra scene of the episode in Rod Serling's style, and shot it. And uh, and it's and if you ever see the episode, they're in the break room, the doctor and the nurse, and the doctor says, "I've seen under those bandages." She has in her face is a human face, and Doug wrote that, and he's not credited. No one knew. And when they screened the episode for Rod Serling, Doug was in the in the screening room sweating bullets. And then uh -huh. at, the end, at the end of the episode, Rod simply turned to Doug and said, "Good scene." <laughs> and, oh wow! Uh, so, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and but again, this is one of the um, the futuristic scores of Bernard Herrmann. Uh, you would see that it, it sort of uh, continues in the tradition of the score he wrote for Brave New World on CBS Radio Workshop, and later scores that he would do for Twilight Zone also have that same um, electronic kind of tonality. And and of course, it, it also harkens back to Day the Earth Stood Still. Um, you know what he was some of the stuff he was exploring back then, and then. Um, and then later afterwards, of course, in 67, 66, 67, he would do Fahrenheit 451, which again is sort of a further exploration and culmination of what he's playing with here on the Twilight Zone. 